All right, take 64. So I just wanted to show you the uh, Geiger Shield board. Uh, here you have the basic uh, Geiger kit. I'm going to power it off. And we'll put the shield board on. And display. Power it back on. Now that's the file that it's logging to. That's debug. Date and time. Well, I have to take my word for it. I have a real remote control here. And I'll just zip through the menus. So you can set the long count, uh, the short count for CPM over a thousand. Uh, minutes logging, so you can change that to two minutes or three minutes. Uh, you can change your CPM to USV ratio. Uh, you can set an alarm and it'll pull a pin high when uh, you exceed that amount. And then these next steps are for setting the real-time clock. And I'm going to blast out. Now notice while all the time that I was in the menu, uh, the period for the CPM uh, didn't change. So uh, that's one way you can get counts. Let's say for 10 minutes, you could just leave it at the uh, at the menu prompt for however long you want, and when you come back, you'll see that it has racked up the counts. And you can also see on the right that the the alarm is on, and again, that's putting a pin uh, pin high when that goes. Alright, so that's uh, basically it uh, functionally. I'll make another little movie on uh, just a quick tour of the board.